Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. Um, it is, well, it's actually afternoon now. <laughs> um, I have been, I slept in again. I tell ya, I don't think I realized how, um, how much being in quarantine and being, you know, just the four of my immediate family members, how much, um, actually it's been, it's actually been kind of nice, <laughs> but how much uh, energy I expend being around other people. I'm not sure what that says about me. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm just really feeling run down. Um, I'm wearing a new shirt today. I did not make this. This is a, uh, I think it's from Madewell. My sister bought it. it. It looks coming across red on the camera. My sister bought it thinking it was red and white stripe. And it is not. It is a rest and white, kind of a rest and vanilla stripe. And which is perfect for my um, color palette. So she threw that into my suitcase when I was visiting um, over the last few days. So that's exciting. <laughs> I always like to get something, um, a new top that's easy to throw on. Okay, so today, um, let's say I've been caffeinated. I have done some computer work a little bit and I just ordered two new camera batteries. So I will have three camera batteries when all is said and done. Um, Cause I've actually been doing a little bit of pattern Tetrising this morning, but I wasn't able to film it because my battery was dead. So. Um, because of the generosity of uh, people putting some money in the tip jar, buying me a coffee on my coffee account, um, which is always linked down below. I just don't want to bring it up a ton just because, I don't know, it's whatever. But because of that, I was able to buy some more lights for um, filming. So it's the same lights that I've got. I just bought two more, actually three more, two more, two more. Um, two more lights, and I bought some new light bulbs. So, um, I don't know if you're familiar with um, Brittany J. Jones. Uh, if you're not, her YouTube channel is amazing. She is just one of the happiest, brightest people on the entire internet. <laughs> I just love her channel. But she had done a sewing room tour, um, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago. And um, she had, see, they just moved. And when she moved, she couldn't move her uh, light bulbs like the movers wouldn't touch that they're a military family and um, they had a military move and when we moved here to Indiana ours was a military move as well even though my husband is a civilian he works for the military um, but anyway so it's very familiar with that that they will there's certain things they just won't pack so you just have to toss them so anyway she bought new light bulbs for her lights and she uses the same type of lights I use um, and I think she was very impressed they were a daylight, so they weren't just what came with the lights. So I ordered some new light bulbs to see if that kind of brightens things up too. So two more lights, um, new light bulbs, four of them, for all four lights that I will then have, and new batteries. So, <laughs> that's the little things, right? So I did get on and do that, so that's very exciting that that will be coming soon. Um, in the next few days. So um, hopefully the next sew along, which will be starting not this Sunday, but the following Sunday, which will be the swimsuit, um, the, you'll notice a difference in the lighting, hopefully, and that that will be a lot clearer and a lot more helpful. So especially around the cutting table, because I always keep the lights around the um, sewing machine, but I don't have anything over at the cutting table. So when I'm getting the down shots, um, there's not lights set up. That's just literally the lights from the room. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to see a difference there as well. Okay, what else have I been doing? So I've been playing Pattern Tetris on the green um, athletic knit that I made the sports bra out of yesterday. Well, you've seen it last week now, but I did it yesterday. <laughs> and um, I think I'm going to be able to get, I mean, I'm literally using every bit of this one and a half meters. This is one and a half meters because I got it from Blackbird. Um, but I'm making a pair of leggings and I'm gonna put, um, so the stride leggings have a pocket option where you can put a pocket. I did the pocket on both sides of my daughter's leggings, but I think I'm just gonna do it on the right side um, for mine because I don't really need a pocket on either side. Um, just something I can easily slide my phone into. Um, so I'm just doing one pocket, which takes, when you do the pocket, it takes just a little bit more fabric than not than doing the piece that is not the pocket. Um, so anyway, I think I have that. And then I did unearth my cashmere um, spruce tank and the cedar dolman. I had both of those patterns and I got those um, all ironed out and ready to go. And I think I'm going to be able to get partial tank out of the green. <laughs> so my fabric fairy um, uh, order that I placed, I don't know, over a week ago now. I mentioned yesterday that, well, by the time you're watching this, it will have arrived. It's supposed to get here this Friday. 
I did have a camo print in there that I think would be cool. So the spruce tank has different panels, um, and I think it'll be cool to um, put that camo into some of the panels. I thought about doing it on the leggings, but I thought that might limit what I could wear the leggings with. Um, so I'm just going to do the leggings and the solid olive. And then, you know, I hopefully can get the panels for the spruce tank. I think I got a yard of that camo. The panels that I need and then maybe also an additional like um, looser tank out of that fabric as well. So that's the hope. Anyway, being very efficient with my fabric. So I do have things laid out. So I'll take you over there and um, uh, time lapse some cutting out. Um, put a new blade in my rotary cutter this morning. I don't think I love that. <laughs> All of a sudden, <laughs> putting a brand new blade in and everything just cuts so smoothly and so nicely. Um, sometimes that athletic wear, because it's got the polyester, can be kind of hard to cut. Um, I guess it just must be that polyester fiber that, or the nylon maybe that's just a little tougher. Um, anyway, brand new blade in. So I'll take you over there as we cut those out. Um, I'm not sure how much is going to get sewn today. Um, well, definitely not the cedar or the spruce tank because, um, I don't have the second fabric. I'm just maybe partially cutting that out, but maybe I might be able to get those leggings, um, sewn up today. And I do want to show you guys more of, um, what I got going on with my, uh, um, cover stitch machine. That's what I'm trying to say. That's actually, that's my sewing machine. So I've got my home sewing machine, cover stitch, serger. <laughs> And then, um, oh, someone recommended a name for my sewing machine and I've forgotten it already. It was a good one. Whoever recommended the name for my, my big, um, Juki sewing machine, will you send that to me again? Someone named it. I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. I can't remember what it was. Hmm. Send that to me again. <laughs> Because I, I love that my friend, I have a friend, um, Cisa, that names, she has her own um, alteration. She's a sewing friend, has a, well, friend friend too, but she has a an entire alteration shop, a brick and mortar, and she names all of her sewing machines that her employees will use, everything. They all have names, and I love that. Um, but anyway, I'm really loving my new setup. Okay, so enough babble for right now. I am going to set you up, and we can finish cutting that out, and... If I don't show you up close with the leggings on the um, cover stitch, I will, because um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of sewing on that thing. <laughs> and I do promise to show you also on the home sewing machine, um, which I'll use my Janome, because it does stretch stitches. Um, my Juki does not, it just does straight. So um, yeah, I will definitely show you how to do that on the home sewing machine as well. Um, I'm just kind of getting my C legs a little bit with some of these patterns. Um, you making sure checking fit, especially on myself. You know, I've made them now when I made them for my daughter, but I just kind of want to check fit and all that kind of stuff on myself. I think I was okay on the sports bra. Everything fits great. I don't think that there's any tweaks that I want to make on that. Um, I'm a little, I'm, I'm wondering if, because I have made the spruce tank from Cashmere Art before, but I just, that fold over elastic got so wonky that it was hard to, to, to assess any kind of fitting. Um, on that and it was a long time ago that I made that so I don't think I'll have to do a petite adjustment on that but um, You know, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see <laughs> So hopefully that and then also I've not made the stride leggings for myself yet just my daughter So I do want to check fit on that as well um, Although typically I don't have an issue pants aren't really my um, hardest thing to fit on me. It's mostly upper waist up <laughs> Is where I have all my fitting issues. So anyway, okay enough babbling. I will take you over and uh, yeah, you can watch me uh, see all the pattern Tetris thing I'm doing to try and get all these pieces cut out. Um, the other thing is, is I, there's a chance that my inner waistband on the um, leggings that I'm making, I might have to use that camo fabric too um, because it is getting tight and I'm not able to fold things to see if I can get both waistband pieces out yet, both the inner and the outer. So uh, yeah, let's go see what we can, what we can come up with. All right.
Okay, I finished my first pair of stride leggings. Here they are. Um, in the olive green, um, recycled, what is it, recycled polyester spandex, I think that I got quite a few years ago, uh, a couple years ago at least, from um, Blackbird Fabrics. Um, I love them. <laughs> I love them. I went, you know, kept them all the same color. I did put the pocket on this side here so I could slide a phone in there. I did the cropped um, length and I actually didn't have to do anything with the uh, length of the pattern. Um, so that, you know, might tell you <laughs> something, my 5.2. Because that's about, I mean, that's pretty much exactly where I want a cropped length. Now it's not capri. Capri length um, was a higher cut line and then there's a short line and then there was a long line. Um, but I kept this at the cropped length for this pair. Yeah, I'm very, very pleased with uh, my new uh, workout leggings. Okay, so day two um, of since sewing the active wear. And uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with how these turned out. I think they're gonna be great with my new sports bra. Can't wait to make some tops with them. Um, especially that uh, spruce tank. Can't wait to get that made up and see how that looks. But yeah, I'm very pleased. They're very comfortable. So I made a size F. So they do their sizes like A through whatever. And I did a size F, which matched with my hip measurement. Um, I think it was, if your hip measurement was 39 to 40, I think. My hip measurement's right at 39, so I did an F for that. Um, I did grade up to a G for my waist because the waist was, a G is like a 31, or 32, 33 waist, and I'm like a 32, sometimes 33. Um, so I went up to the G for the waist, and then on my calves, I have very um, <laughs> shapely calves. <laughs> you know, whatever, it's just the way my, I always have issues with things catching on my calves. And when you looked at, so my calves are 15 and a half inches and the calf measurement for an F was like 13 and a half. It's like 13 and a half to 14 and a quarter. So I actually ended up grading from an F to a H. So I went up two sizes for the calf, just through the calf area, and then went back down to an F again at the ankle. And that seems to be perfect. Nothing's catching at my, um, at my calf. And I think, I mean, I've got some wrinkles on the back, which is pretty typical with most leggings, just because you have to be able to bend and, you know, things don't, they're not sliding easily because they're skin tight. They have negative ease, um, which is what they're supposed to have. But way less wrinkles than I normally have and like ready to wear leggings. So I'm very, very pleased with this. I did do the gusset in the crotch instead of, um, you know, well, I'll take them off. Let me take them off and I'll show them to you. Hold on. Okay. So the gusset, if you look at the crotch of the pants, that is the gusset right there, which makes moving so much easier. If you're doing yoga or anything in a pair of leggings, you just don't get that uncomfortable cutting you in half feeling. It's definitely the way to go. It's my favorite thing to look for in leggings. And you don't get like that camel toe issue um, when you're wearing them either. Um, so anyway, it's an option for this pattern. I will always use the gusset. Um, so yeah, so that turned out really nice. Um, I did the high waist. Now for my daughter, I did the ultra high waist on her. This one, because I'm pretty short and through my uh, midsection, I did just the high, high rise and it definitely comes up to my, a little past my natural waist. So it's very comfortable. I feel like I'm very tucked in all nice, all nicely. Um, which actually, you know, if you really wanted to, because this is a two layer, you know, it's got your inner waistband and your outer waistband, you could put a, I wonder how that would work. You could put a power mesh on your inner waistband just to give yourself a little extra suck in. Um, because this is, this comes pretty low um, when the waistband comes up. I mean, that would cover, you know, quite a bit of the tummy pooch. Um, what else? Let's see, I've got the pocket. I did do the pocket on just one side, the right side. On the left side, I left the pocket off. It's just the regular piece. Um, hemmed it with my cover stitch. Did quite a bit of the sewing, actually, with my cover stitch. There's some straight stitching. Um, actually, when I was making these for my daughter, it's when I was like, I really need a separate straight stitch. Because you have to hem this little pocket first, and then you base things in, and then it gets sewn, you know, to form the bottom part of the pocket. I did all that with a chain stitch, which is just a single cover, you know, it's just the single stitch with the loopy back, whereas your typical cover stitch is two. Um, I did do the 
regular, you know, double needle cover stitch on the hems. Um, so that's all nice and stretchy. I think a, a, the double is stretchier because the loop goes back and forth between the two, so you have a, quite a bit more stretch than just the chain, but the chain's still a pretty stretchy stitch. Um, and then the pattern has you sewing clear elastic in to the top of the waist, um, just as a little extra added support so nothing gets real worn out and stretched out. I'm very pleased with them. I can't wait to make more. <laughs> so there we have it. So my first pair of stride leggings. Um, I didn't film my making of the strides because I turned a movie on. Um, I just wanted to sit, so watch a movie. So that's what I've done today. But I have a pair of leggings to show for it, and I'm very excited about that. So I think this evening, I'm actually gonna go through and look and see um, what notions I need for um, the jackets that I'm doing. Again, you're gonna see all my plans on, let's we'll see what it is today, is today Wednesday? <laughs> you'll, we'll have seen, you've already seen my plans for um, on Friday. But I wanna figure out what I need for my transformer jacket and then also what I'm gonna need for my Constellation hoodie and my um, J. Lee zip jacket, zippers and that kind of stuff. Um, just make sure I've got what I need on hand as far as notions go for those, because I think everything else I'm probably pretty good on. So that's it for today. I'm gonna go um, hang out with my kids for a little bit, I think. So I will see you guys again tomorrow. Guy. Good morning, everyone why it's so dark right now. <laughs> um, happy Thursday. <laughs> okay, so I literally have zero things on my to-do list today, which is magical. Um, my house really needs to be cleaned and I probably need to do laundry, but those are going to get pushed because <laughs> I'm totally embracing the healing power of sewing right now. And I'm on a bit of a kick. Okay, so as you've seen, I've finished a sports bra and a pair of leggings out of the olive green knit. Now my machines are still set up for the olive green knit and I have part of a um, cashmere spruce tank cut out, but I'm waiting for um, some fabric to arrive. It was the last little bit of fabric that I ordered um, for this active wear capsule, <laughs> which is getting quite crazy. Um, anyway, I um, wanna do the rest of that tank in that fabric. However, I have, so one of the sports bra options, um, that power sports bra that I made, is a strappy U-back or just a strappy back. So I think the strappy U-back, it's got just like two straps on each side that go back. And then the strappy back is four straps and they crisscross, I believe. Um, and so the back is kind of flat. I'm not sure how... Um, supportive that one's going to be just with the larger bust but um i have you know i've got just some scraps of that olive green left like little bitty scraps but i thought it could be kind of cool just to to do a scrap bra when all, everything is done um you know because all these colors go so well together but you know if i was able to get like i don't know like a chocolate brown bra for instance and then have like that um amber red color as a strap and just do like four different colored straps um, I think that might be kind of fun and then would go with a lot of things. I was thinking about that. So basically my basement is a mess right now because <laughs> I'm not throwing anything away or putting anything away. So I want to leave all of these active, I mean, I'm pulling out more and more active wear patterns um, to make things and I want to test fit and I'm also trying to do colors together so that I don't have to change the thread on my machines as often. Um, Anyway, so I'm not putting any patterns away. So for instance, I've made the stride leggings yesterday. Well, I still have a lot of stride le leggings I wanna make. So like that pattern is out and like laid out so somewhat flat. And then, you know, the sports bra pattern that I've traced off, all those pieces are laid out flat. Um, the spruce, you know, and as I get more and more patterns out, um, and there's a whole bunch that I printed, had printed off at PDF plotting. So my basement is, the sewing area is not picked up at all right now. <laughs> I feel like there's just paper everywhere. But I don't know, like, what other, you know, I don't want to put them, the patterns away because I'm going to be pulling them out later on this month or next month anyway to get all this done. So I guess I'll just live in chaos until we go to Colorado <laughs> down here. But anyway, I have pulled this pattern out, which is the Simplicity 8338, and this is in my plans video that you guys have now seen. Um, and then I pulled the actual, because I keep my envelopes and patterns separate. 
So I think I'm gonna just do some cutting out because I'm interested to see now what I can get cut out of this, um, the Merino Poly Blend that I have. I think I have four different colors of it. Um, now for this kind of off-white color, it's called like Calamine or something. Um, but for this color, I had originally planned on doing an Ellie and Mac Ruched Tea and one of these tanks, um, the Simplicity 8338. But I think I wanna try and get the 8338, instead of the Rouge Tea, try and get that the Cashmere at Cedar Dolman um, out of it because I have that all that pattern all out and ready to go. Uh, and then I can make the Rouge Tea in something else. Well, I actually, I had the Rouge Tea in my plans like a few times because there's a few different variations. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try out the Cedar Dolman. So I have a meter and a half of this fabric and it's really lightweight. I mean, can you kind of like see things through it. Um, so I want to try the Cedar Dolman and then also see if I can get one of these cut out. I don't know that I'll sew them up today, but I am curious to see how much I can get out of this fabric with some creative cutting. And <laughs> I kind of want to cut everything at once. And that's what I did with my olive green um, um, legging fabric, the athletic knit or whatever. Um, I laid everything out and it got very creative with my uh, cutting to try and get and I did. I got leggings, a sports bra, and a large portion of that um, spruce tank out of it, out of a meter and a half. So that's pretty good. Um, and then I've got scraps that I can use for uh, maybe some scrap bras later. So we'll see how that turns out. But while I was digging, looking through my active wear binder for this pattern, because I was looking for the number of it so that I could pull this, the actual pattern, I came across um, a few more that I forgot I have. You would think I would have gone through that um, when planning out my activewear. I just in my head thought I didn't have very many activewear patterns, but that is a lie. So I was gonna show you. So I keep my swimwear, I mean, this isn't all activewear patterns. <laughs> this is a swimwear, activewear, and sleep. So, and a majority of these are like PJ pants and stuff like that, and swim. I have a, quite a few swim patterns. But I totally forgot, I'll leave that out for now, but I totally forgot when I bought that um, tank pattern, I also bought this simplicity pattern, which is 8704, which is like a little pull over, you know, just like a quarter zip um, pullover. The arms look kind of weird, like the armholes, like if you look at the girl here, like the fit does not look good there. So I don't know if I want to try it or not, but it does have quite a few, like, it has like the back pocket where you could put things um, behind you. And it has like a um, pocket on your sleeve. And there's like a cool pocket right here to stick like a phone or whatever. Although the thing is, is that, I mean, I don't have any wireless um, earbuds, but I mean, that's where things are going now. So I don't know, I don't need anything for a cord to go through probably. Well, I do right now. I'm hoping for a pair of AirPods at some point, like maybe for Christmas or something this year. My husband has a pair and just loves them. Um, but even just this view C, I mean, it's just a plain view that doesn't have any pockets on it. So I don't know. I think that has a drawstring bottom. Anyway, I totally forgot about this one. So that one came to mind. And then I also, I actually have a couple of the Sewaholic patterns. Um, uh, Tazia did a couple, uh, like a collection of workout patterns. The thing with the Sewaholic patterns, like I have their leggings pattern, and then I also have their tank pattern. But the thing with Sewaholic patterns is they're drafted for a pear shape, which is literally the opposite of my body sh shape. So I have a really hard time getting those to fit me. But I know people with pear shapes. And I've given away almost all of my Sewaholic patterns. I don't know why I hung on to these two. But um, I know that um, the people that are pear-shaped, these fit like a dream. So anyway. Um, and then I forgot that I had this Mimi G style one. I don't know why I didn't go through this. Which is just like a track suit. And that would be a fun scrap buster. Because you can use, it's like color blocked. So you could use a whole bunch of different um, colors. And you wouldn't even have to do like... Uh, Oh, like the nylon lycra or whatever. You could do something that was more, I mean, like this stuff. You could even. I mean, it's just a little zip-up jacket and a little pair of track pants. 
I totally forgot I had that one. And then I totally forgot I had this one too. And I bought this one for the tops more than for the leggings. But this Simplicity 8424, it's like a ballet pattern. Um, but I think this little wrap top's adorable, especially for yoga. I would really like to get back in the yoga studio. Probably in, would wait until school starts again. Um, I would love to go back to my old yoga studio. It's just, it's kind of a drive. And then, you know, for an hour and 15 minute yoga session and then the drive back and you have to get there early to get your spot. Um, plus the pandemic. <laughs> Although they're doing virtual classes right now. I, maybe I should just join back up and just do the virtual yoga classes for now. But I think that this little wrap top is adorable for like, um, you know, to wear to and from yoga. And also this little crop top right here. And really this tank, I mean, I'd wear a sports bra with it, but um, yeah, I think that those are both. And I don't know I'm as, as crazy about the leggings only because I don't think that there's a gusset and I really like the legging pattern I'm playing around with right now. But yeah, I do really like these two over tops here. So I totally forgot I had that one. And then I have some, um, you know, I mentioned I golf. And as my kids get older, it's something that we want to do more of. But I have this old quick sew pattern that is literally a golf pattern. It's got like a little squirt um, and knit top and stuff there. I have no idea how long I've had this. In fact, this may even be one. My mother-in-law likes to, um, she'll grab sewing patterns for me when she goes to garage sale and estate sale. So sometimes she brings me a lot. And then I also forgot that I had this one, which I think would be great. Um, that tank would be really good. And even the little, it's a skort. That little skirt there is a skort. So you can, um, you know, like that would be a cute little golf outfit or tennis outfit if you play tennis. I don't play tennis. I'm awful at tennis. <laughs> I have literally no hand-eye coordination. If there is, I can play golf because the ball is stationary until I hit it. If there is a moving ball, moving racket, it never works out well. And I think the rest of these are all swimsuits and I've got some underwear. There's underwear patterns in here too and sleepwear. So anyway, I just had kind of totally forgotten that I'd had some of those and I don't want to overwhelm myself because I, you know, I do have my plans all set out and I've really thought through, you know, how everything's going to fit everything else. But if I have some extra um, fabric, I think that that might be good. So anyway, Today's plan is to cut out this Simplicity tank. And I'm not sure which view. I may just try view A first, which is kind of the boring one of them, um, which is just, you know, your standard racer back, regular front. All the fronts of these look the same. This view here might be interesting, but I think that would fall off my shoulders constantly. So I think what I would want to do is put like a little strip of uh, fabric to connect the top up there just to keep that on your shoulders, right? Like that. I feel like would be really annoying. And I also, when I bought this pattern, I got the sports bra pattern that went with it. And I actually have a sports bra all cut out. Um, and it's in one of my um, work in progress bins and has been since I bought these patterns forever ago. And there's a ton of cup sizes. So I actually would like to try that pattern out too, just, uh, you know, for comparisons. Um, and since I do have more fabric coming, um, and again, that's already cut out. Like it's, cu I cut out kind of a tester. It's hard to do muslins on things like sports bras because you really just have to make it in order to find out if it fits and you have to use appropriate fabric for that, which you wow. is, you know, oh, sorry, my kids are playing <laughs> video games remotely with their cousins. So they've got their cousins on FaceTime and then they're playing a game together um, online. So sorry about the screaming. <laughs> Anyway, um, you have to use the appropriate fabric. You know, you can't use like cheap muslin fabric um, for that kind of stuff. Same with swimsuits. So um, it was just some scraps left over from a swimsuit project that I'd made my daughter. So I may dig that out while we're doing all of this as well and see how that one fits. Um, I would assume it's still the same size that I am now. We'll have to get in there and look. <laughs> but anyway. That's what I'm going to do today. So I will um, time lapse you. I'll take you over and we can play. You can watch me do some pattern tetrising to see what I can get out of a meter and a half of this, what kind of tops I can get. Um, okay, so let's do that.
Okay, so I got the, um, you probably saw, I was able to get that uh, 8338. Is that what it is? 8338? I keep wanting to say 3883. I think it's 8338 Simplicity. Um, just the original one. And actually, because the way the pieces are, I'm really kind of crooked here. The way that the pieces are, um, I think I'm crooked the other way now. <laughs> it's a delicate balance. Um, for the other two versions, so the version that's like the um, racer back that has like the gathered bottom and then the drape back. I think the drape back would work as long as I did some sort of a piece of fabric or elastic that just went across the back to keep it from, I just think it would fall off the shoulders. Um, but anyway, I think that those use a little less fabric because you don't need all the length, you know, like you can fit the other pieces in, um, in other spots because there's like a yoke and that kind of stuff. Um, cause I was looking at the back of the pattern and for the regular Razorback version, it's a yard of fabric you need. And the other two versions, you just need seven eighths of yard. I was like, well, that's interesting because there's a lot more going on with the other two, but that's what it is. It's the length that you can get away with because um, there's plenty of width. Because um, I was even able to get the um, cedar dolman that has the tie, which obviously takes up a lot more space because the tie comes out um, oddly. But you can also make that cedar dolman um, just a straight, just a straight like dolman t-shirt if you wanted to, which might be like really easy and kind of fun um, to make as well. But I'll try the tie version first and see what I think. Um, it'd be a super quick make because you could cut the front on the fold. You'd want to take the seam allowance out of the center front seam. There has to be a center front seam for the tie uh, version. Um, let's see. So anyway, I really don't want to do any sewing today because I think I mentioned that I'm waiting on the fabric for that spruce tank. And just all my machines are set up with thread for that fabric. Um, and that's the last I have to do with that fabric. And then I can move on to other thread colors because nothing else will I need that that color green on. I have some more green, but it will all be a different shade of green. I have a lot of different shades of green of thread. <laughs> um, so anyway, I would rather just wait, I think, until that comes, because I'll have to switch over my serger thread, because I have black on there right now. Um, and obviously that dolman and tank I cut out are kind of a... They're not actually an off-white. I think there's a little pink in there. Um, I don't know if it's the lighting... Um, or what, which I think is okay. It's a warm, it's still a warm color and it comes across as a white. There's just definitely maybe a little bit of a pink undertone. Um, but obviously I'll want to go to white thread for that on both machines, but I'm really excited to, um, I'll definitely take you along with that when I'm making that tank, that simplicity tank, because it gets bound edges on the neckline and on the armhole. And now that I've got my cover stitch machine, I think binding is going to be so quick because I can't even doing it the way that I did before where I surge it on and then flip it over and then cover stitch it down. Um, Cause I think I'll leave, I don't know if we'll put it up with a two needle cover stitch or just a single needle chain stitch. Cause I've been playing around with that a lot more. The cover stitch is more, the two needles is a stretchier stitch than the one. So maybe I'll just stick with the two. And I do like the way that look, it's kind of a sporty look. And then that'll finish it off nicer on the inside. So maybe I'll do that. Um, but I'm excited to get sewing that. I just don't want to switch my thread over right now. I want to finish that tank. So I'll hopefully maybe do that tomorrow. I'm totally thinking out loud here. <laughs> so I have a hair appointment tomorrow. This mop is going to finally be, <laughs> be seen to. Um, although now that my bangs have gotten, I've gotten past the point of no return. I mean, they're still kind of in my eyes, but not really. Like they can kind of be easily brushed aside now. So I'm like, well, maybe I'll just go bangless again for a while <laughs> because now that I've gone this far with growing that, that's the worst part of having bangs and going back and forth is that weird in between um, time. So maybe I'll leave them. And I, yeah, I may even leave my length a little bit. I seriously might just go in and have her um, just clean things up a little. Um, maybe put in a couple more layers just because my hair gets pretty thick. Um, yeah, and now that my color is all grown out and I'm really back to my natural color because I had colored it a few times um, to get the blonde out and to get back to my natural color. But now I'm 100% back to my natural color. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see what tomorrow brings, but I'm going to do some filming since I've got to go in for that. Anyway, I'll have my hair nice and done. I'm going to do filming tomorrow um, for the channel. So I won't probably do any vlogging at all tomorrow um, unless 
if I can get to the tank, I might pop on and do a little bit of that with you on film. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of hoping that my stuff rides today. Probably not. That might be wishful thinking, but anyway. So with all that babble, um, I was going to show you. Hold on one second and I'll show you what I want to cut out next. Okay, the next thing I want to cut out, and I really am excited about sewing this up, and actually, I, once I've switched my serger thread to white for that dolman and that tank, I can leave it on there for this. Um, so this is the Liberty Board Short fabric. So it is a swimwear fabric, but it's a woven swimwear fabric, so there's no stretch, I don't think. I mean, maybe a teeny, teeny bit. I mean, maybe just a little bit of mechanical stretch crosswise, not hardly any. So you would make like swim trunks or um, even just swim shorts, like women's swim shorts, whatever, out of this fabric. But it's nice and lightweight and it is UVA, UVB um, uh, rated. So it's got an SPF in it, I'm pretty sure. I may be making that up, but I'm pretty sure. Um, but it is Liberty and it's so pretty. And I want to make the, um, transformer jacket, the Ellie and Mac transformer jacket, which actually is, um, meant for knit fabrics, but not knit with a lot of stretch. Uh, so I, they, she doesn't have the finished measurements on that pattern. So I, but I did measure and I'm going to have like 10 inches of ease. I am normally I pick a size based on my upper bust measurement, but this time I've picked the size based on my full bust measurement, which is a extra large because my full bust me measurement's a 40, because I'm not going to have any stretch in my fabric, and I wanted to make sure I had enough room. And I've measured a whole bunch of parts of the jacket, and I think the extra large is going to be fine. I'm going to have plenty of ease throughout. It's like 10 inches of ease in the bust, which is the type of jacket I wanted, nice and loose. Um, but I will need a knit for the cuffs and the waistband. So I have a little bit of this left over, which is that rust um, bamboo... Uh, bamboo cotton sweatshirting. That's not going to show up. Sorry, I'm not in the best light right here. Um, that I made that Sloan and my um, Luna loungewear shorts out of. And I've, I've got a nice big scrap here that I think I can get the cuffs and the waistband out of. It's not the same orange um, that's in here. So you can see there's like a few different, maybe not, this is really crappy lighting. Um, but I think that it looks, I like it together. Like I think it makes sense. So I'm going to use this for the cuffs and the waistband. And then I have a separating zipper that will be plenty long um, in navy for the front because there's a lot of navy in here. And then I think I'm actually not going to have to order anything, which is very exciting. And then I've got, um, you have to have like bra sliders for the straps for the um, actual when it turns into a backpack. And I think I can use some ribbon or trim in my stash. I have some white bra sliders that are from a kit of some sort. Um, I also have rose gold, but the eyelets I have in my stash are regular gold. Um, so I'm not crazy about mixing my metals, but will it really matter? I mean, these will be on the back of the backpack. So will the eyelets, though, to be honest. You're not really going to see them. <laughs> it's going to be either against my back or inside the coat when it's turned into a coat. So maybe I'm overthinking it and maybe it doesn't matter. Um, and then I'm just going to use some trim or ribbon in my stash for the actual backpack straps. I might get on Amazon and order a pair of shoestrings. Um, but I don't think I'm going to need to. So yeah, I think I'm going to be able to make this jacket with stuff that I have. And I have four, you need four eyelets for this pattern for the casings for when it goes into a backpack and I have four eyelets left, so <laughs> it's meant to be. So anyway, I think that's the next thing I'm going to see if I can get um, cut out uh, and do that here in a minute. I hate to get too many things cut out though because then I get overwhelmed when there's just a big pile of stuff cut out waiting to be sewn up. Sometimes I like to, I like to switch back and forth um, as I go throughout my sewing. But again, I've got a ton of patterns just laying around and trying to keep patterns separate from each other so that it's easy for me to pick them back up. But I want them all accessible because I'm trying to eke out as much as I can out of each yardage. Um, so yeah, it's a big cacophony of patterns, pieces everywhere and trying to keep them organized so that nothing gets mixed up with anything else. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been up to today. So, um, yeah, I might as well just go ahead and time lapse you while I am cutting out and getting everything ready for this jacket. And then I'm going to stop, I think, for the day because uh, I'd like to wait and not get too far ahead of myself. 
That way I can just finish the tank and then get to sewing up the two tops I have cut out and then this jacket. We'll be well on our way. Alrighty. Okay, so I was able to get the jacket completely cut out and I now have, if you can see, probably about um, I don't know, maybe a meter left over. I don't have the full width of the meter. Um, this was pretty wide fabric, but I went ahead and I just printed off um, the Belize, the Itch to Stitch Belize um, shorts and skirt. I'm actually wearing a pair of the Belize shorts right now. Um, but I thought, because it's got like, it's a skirt, so it's got the skirt that goes over the shorts on both the front and the back. I picked Beauty, which has it on the front and the back. Um, I thought that maybe I could use this. I'm gonna see what I can get cut out of it. Now, because it's the skirt over the shorts, I could definitely do the shorts in like a coordinating fabric underneath. and. It, I did order some stretch wovens. This doesn't have to be stretch for this pattern, um, but I did order some wovens um, that should be arriving in the package tomorrow that I might be able to use as the um, underneath shorts. We'll see. But I thought this would make a really cute golf skirt <laughs> if I can um, flanagle it to get that cut out. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna play around pattern tester. I mean, that fabric's just too good to go to waste. And while it's out, I mean, I wouldn't let it go to waste, but while it's out, I thought it'd be perfect for a golf skirt or skirt. Um, it's got pockets and stuff for golf balls and golf tees and that kind of thing. So I think it, that the pattern would be a fantastic golf pattern. So if I can get, I'm sorry, I'm so dark today. <laughs> if I can um, get this all flanagled, at least if nothing else, just get the skirt portion of this cut out. And then like I said, I could use a different fabric for the shorts portion. So I'm going to uh, play around with that and see what I can uh, get done. Okay. So I'm going to call it for today. It's like 3.15, but um, I've got a friend we're gonna, that's coming over and we're gonna sit outside on the back patio. It's a gorgeous day today and knit while our girls craft. So um, I'm gonna let you guys go, but super proud with my progress today. Um, I got the Transfor Alien Mac Transformer jacket cut out. I got the um, Simplicity uh, 8338 tank top, I think view A, uh, all cut out. I got the Cashmere um, cedar dolman cut out and I've got um, you know I've got a partial of the spruce cashmere spruce tank cut out from yesterday or the day before and then I've got part of the Belize shorts cut out so I was able to get the front and back skirt the waistband and then the pocket um, you know like the facing part of the pocket that shows all cut out of that Liberty woven fabric. So I think the inside pocket that you don't see and then the shorts, I'm gonna do in a contrasting fabric. Um, so I'll wait and pick one. Um, I think I ordered three, like a yard of three um, stretch wovens because I'm interested in those athletic stretch wovens um, for golfing and possibly running shorts, but probably golfing. Um, so anyway, I'm very pleased with everything I got cut out and now I've got a ton of stuff two items that are still waiting for other uh, fabric to arrive to finish cutting those out, and then three things that are completely cut out and ready to go and interfaced, everything's interfaced. So um, yeah, we'll be able to start some sewing. Um, maybe not tomorrow, but possibly on Saturday. 
So uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a wonderful time following me around today and I will see you guys either tomorrow or Saturday. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Um, so I didn't film at all yesterday. Well, I was filming actually yesterday, but I didn't film any vlog yesterday, mostly because I was at a standstill with my sewing because I was waiting for this fabric fairy order to arrive and it finally came today. It was supposed to come yesterday, but it did not. So I was really waiting on this camo. These are different shades of green. It's kind of hard. This is like a really dark mossy green there um, so that I can cut out the other pieces of my spruce tank um, and then I can switch up my thread. So I was waiting, <laughs> waiting on this one uh, specifically so that I could get that spruce tank cut out. I ordered a yard. Um, I don't think I talked about this one in the uh, plans video. I ordered a yard, yeah. A yard of each of these I guess it's on here isn't it yes I think I ordered a yard of everything except for the blue spandex and then the power mesh because I just needed some more power mesh in my in my stash in the beige color so anyway I was waiting on this so that's gonna be part of the spruce tank and then we're gonna see what else I can get out of it this is fantastic quality this is considered, let's see, this was under the printed swimwear, but in her description, she talks about what it's good for, and it says swimwear and um, activewear as well. Um, so it's very thick and very opaque. Like, I could do a pair of leggings out of this pretty easily. I mean, how many pairs of leggings do I need? How much activewear do I really need? Clearly a lot. I've clearly fallen down a rabbit hole. Um... And another thing to consider is that I am changing up my eating just a little bit starting on Monday um, just because I'm trying to, um, you know, I've got some autoimmune issues and stuff. I just, and I saw my doctor on June 4th, whenever that was. Uh, nothing major, but we're going to be doing some tweaking. Mostly it's trying to get sugar, um, get my sugar intake way down, which is unfortunate, but <laughs> just because um, it's all inflammatory foods. That we're trying to get cut down so we can figure out, um, solve some issues. So um, I'm kind of thinking that probably there's going to be some weight loss associated with that. Nothing major, I don't think. And this is all active wear, so definitely it can definitely grow with you. But really the thing that I'm most concerned about are sports bras. Um, if I lose any weight in my bust, if that's going to cause an issue on the sports bras. But what's that? I don't even know what that little, my skin marks so easily. I probably scratched myself. Okay, so I got that one. That was the one I was kind of waiting on. Um, I got some power mesh. So this is the beige color, uh, the power mesh. I've ordered power mesh from her before. I got two yards of it, which is going to be plenty to do some swimwear, some sports bras. Um, I still have quite a bit of my black left um, for darker colored sports bras. Um, so yeah, so that's good. I just needed really that for the stash. I also ordered, um, I didn't have this. I filmed the... Um, activewear swimwear fabric video and I didn't have this yet but this is rubber elastic I don't know if you can kind of it almost looks like a rubber band a little bit but it's obviously heavier duty I love this stuff for swimwear so they're like strips of rubber basically anyway it's fantastic for swimwear it holds up so much better than um, any other kind of elastic really especially if you're gonna be in the pool and stuff a lot oh I also bought a new swimsuit pattern so um, Small Bobbins, she's, I'll link her YouTube channel down below. She and another, it's another designer, um, Hani Itu maybe? Hani, I, I'm not going to pronounce it right. Um, I believe she's Danish because the pattern comes in English and also Danish. Um, I think it's Danish or is it Dutch? I can't remember. Anyway, they have a new swimsuit pattern out called the um, Cigna. And it has cup sizes. It has three different cup sizes. It has an AB cup, a CD cup, and an EF cup. Um, it's a one-piece suit with a whole bunch of variations. I saw um, Laura from the Specky Seamstress was a tester for it. Um, and she showed hers, which was lovely. I mean, a, a beautiful job. And um, anyway, I ordered it. Do I need another swimsuit? No, sure don't. <laughs> but I just couldn't turn it away. So then I was thinking... I don't know. We'll see. Once I get into these modules, if I get to a point where I'm like, I'm pretty fat with uh, leggings now, or if I've got enough, you know, make a pair of leggings um, and then doing a swimsuit as well instead of a sports bra or a tank with it, um, I think I would have enough. Um, anyway, just for something kind of fun and different because a lot of this does go swimwear or activewear. 
Okay, and then, well, I'll show you this in a minute. This stuff is gorgeous that I ordered. So here's the one print that I ordered. I showed you a picture of this on the plans video. Um, I'm gonna do, I think, a tank out of this. It just feels lovely. It has like a brushed side, so it's a very dry, dry feeling, if that makes sense. It's, it's not shiny at all. It just feels delightful. A very beefy, but not horribly. I mean, you could do leggings out of that, too. It's just lovely quality. And this was under the swimwear. So I got this print, and then I also got this print, um, which is even like a drier feeling. Um, it also feels amazing. Um, and yeah, you could easily do leggings or something out of that as well. So I have a yard of each of these, so we'll see. I'm definitely gonna get tanks out of them, um, but we'll see what else. Aren't they pretty? Um, what else I can get out of those. And then here is the blue that I bought. Um, and this is like a, it's not suplex, but I think it's very similar. It's very stretchy, but very, I mean, very opaque. This is the Poseidon blue, I think. So it's like a blue that goes a little teal, like a navy that goes a little green, just a little bit teal. It's, it's actually a perfect navy for me. I got two yards of this one. So this in the shape, in the, um, power mesh I got two yards of and this is the one where I was going to see what I all I could get out of two yards because um, it's one of my neutrals and then I've got the you know the brown that I showed you in the activewear plans that I think I can also get oh I could do that Cigna in that brown <laughs> because I have t um I remember I got over I'm not sure how much I have but I got over meterage of that because I got the end of the bolt on that brown and it's a swimwear fabric too this is activewear this was specifically activewear but the rest of the stuff was swimwear actually and then I got a yard each of these um, Nike Dry Fit Stretch Wovens. So I got a brown, a teal, and like a burnt orange. And I was really thinking of uh, golf skorts for these. Possibly running shorts, but I really like the idea of doing some golf skorts. So, anyway, those three. which are all, I mean, they all go in my color palette. And then finally, this was the um, swimsuit fabric that I bought from Fabric Fairy a couple of years ago. It's great quality, it's really amazing. My sister was over, and still is over the moon. So um, I made my sister and her daughter matching swimsuits out of this like two years ago, three maybe even, um, probably two years ago. Well, maybe three. It may have been, it may have been three, because she'll be five in October, so it may have been when she was, like, a year and a half, like, going on two. I don't feel like it was, though. Maybe two years ago. doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, my sister still loves her swimsuit that I made from this. Obviously, her daughter has grown out of it, um, so I bought, and I saw that she had more of this, so I bought another yard so that I can do another swimsuit for my niece so that she can match her mom again, because they, my niece loves that, and my, my sister loves that a lot, too. Um, that's upside down. Anyway, it's got like these little tropical birds and palm trees in really pretty colors. So bought another yard of that and my niece has already picked out exactly what she wants. She wants a long sleeve rash guard, she wants swimsuit bottoms with a ruffle, and she wants a tankini top. <laughs> She's been very specific. Um, and then I think I'll have enough uh, extra width. I'll leave the same length but extra width that I could possibly even get her another swimsuit out of this, you know, next year or the year after, depending on how quickly she grows. So that is also um, something I just bought because um, I wanted to. So that is my Fabric Fairy order that is now in. Um, so anyway, everything is just looking fantastic so far here. Um, actually, I wonder if... See, now I'm thinking swimsuits, and I... I mean, our pool is open, our neighborhood pool is open, but it is, um, like, there's restrictions, like, quite a bit of restrictions on it um, until the 4th of July, when I think things do open up, but, I mean, I don't know how much, I don't know. This whole pandemic thing is just putting a kink in everything. <laughs> so anyway, I am going to go finish cutting out the spruce tank, um, 
It is a gorgeous day today. It is 70, 72 degrees out. It is cloudy. But I don't think we're supposed to have any more rain. We had some this morning. Uh, my husband and I already did a really long walk, like a three and a half miler. And then um, we went and uh, ordered takeout. We went and there's a, a really nice uh, burger restaurant in our hometown. And we went and um, ordered, I, we called in an order, um, paid over the phone. That is my new favorite thing now, <laughs> to order and pay on the phone. And so then you just have to pop in and grab your order real quick. Um, masking up and all that kind of stuff. Still, We're still being pretty careful with things. Um, anyway, and then we had a date on our back screened and back porch, which was lovely. We got a new bird feeder, so we sat and watched. We're, I tell you, we <laughs> told them between our multiple walks a day that we take together and our, um, you know, loving to, our bird watching that we've now taken up, I feel like we may have aged quite a bit as a couple. <laughs> But I love it. We're having so much fun spending time together. Um, anyway, yeah, we had a little date on our back porch, uh, just the two of us with our burgers and watching the birds. Uh, so that's been lovely. Um, but now we are each doing our own thing. Um, we've split off. The kids are playing and doing their own thing too. So I'm going to sew up this tank so that I can then switch my thread over to white because I want to sew up, well, the cedar dolman, that simplicity top that I cut out of the um, kind of the cream colored uh, merino poly the other day. And my... Sorry, oh. I'm having... Sorry, my watch thought I was talking to her. That scared me. <laughs> and then my transformer jacket. Um, which actually I was laying in bed and I cut out that rust to be the bottom of the jacket and the cuffs. And now I feel like I want navy. So I'm going to dig back in my scraps and see if I'm sure I have some navy. Um, knit of some sort that I can use for the waistband and the sleeves on those. So I may be changing my mind on that, which is not a big deal. So anyway, <laughs> I want to get my white on, my serger, and also the cover stitch so that I can work in a lighter color for a little bit. Okay, that's all I got. I will, um, my battery's getting ready to die, but that's okay because I have two backup batteries now. <laughs> so I'll just, um, yeah, I'll just put you on time lapse. I'll switch the batteries out and put you on time lapse and you can um, watch me cut out and then sew up this tank real quick. All right. Okay, so here's my finished uh, spruce tank. So, um, let me just make sure I can get into the frame. Okay, so this is, oh, sorry, let <laughs> me raise you up a little. Um, so my finished spruce tank, um, that's too high, sorry. Should have done this better before. Um, okay, so I used what little I had left of the um, olive green. I would show you this on my body, but I actually wore my sports bra and leggings today and worked out in them. So they're in the dirty clothes. <laughs> so I will, you'll get to see everything obviously at some point. But here is um, the finished spruce tank. Um, there's an option to put some like um, straps across the back if you want, like a couple of straps, I guess just to keep it up, um, which may be an issue. This top comes in two different neck necks. You can do a crew neck or you can do a V-neck. Um, I did a V-neck the last time and again I had a whole bunch of issues with my fold over elastic. And you'll see that it's kind of gathering on here, but when it's on my body, I, I'm much bigger than my um, mannequin. When it's on my body, it's it fits just perfectly. Um, anyway, I think it's very slimming because it's got the color here and then the color, the separate color here. Um, yeah, and then the back has the yoke and then it's got the cute little detail, camo detail. And then I use black uh, fold over elastic from my stash. So that one I got finished and let me grab my other two real quick. Okay, and then I also made my dolman. This is the um, cedar dolman. So spruce tank, cedar dolman, also cashmere. I love this. I did the tie front version. Um, again, I'll show you this on me as soon as I've washed everything. It's also very wrinkled at the moment. <laughs> um, I love this. And then I also made the Simplicity S, uh, let's see, it's the Simplicity 8338, and it's just the regular tank with the racer back. Um, the armholes, I was thinking maybe I needed a petite adjustment on this, and maybe I do, but looking at the pictures of the model, like the armholes do come down super low because the idea is you can see to see your sports bra a little bit to kind of show off the strappy sports bras that are so in. So I think I'm just going to leave it. 
Um, I bound this with self fabric. I would like to try binding these with um, fold over elastic too. So um, anyway, very pleased with that. So I'm not going to make any adjustments to that pattern. I'm not going to make any adjustments to that pattern, and I'm not going to make any adjustments to this pattern. So that oh, I take that back. I um, took in the shoulders a half of an inch on this one because they when you see it on me the um, edge of the fold over elastic comes right to the edge of my shoulder and I want it cut in just a little bit you know more like a like a tank um, so I did I liked it when I folded back this this elastic and this fold over elastic is an inch wide so a half inch when it's um, attached so I just cut a half of inch uh, shaved a half an inch off and then went to nothing um, by this piece just to kind of give it that and I kind of like the higher neck. It's kind of uh, fun. Um, it gives almost a boat neck look a little bit to it. Um, but I would like to try the V-neck version as well. So, yeah, very pleased. Okay, I'm going to go sit down and talk to you guys. Okay, so all in all, I think I did um, had a greatly productive day. I was going to time-lapse me actually sewing. I did time-lapse my cutting out, which isn't very, it's like super quick. <laughs> but me cutting out the side panels for the um, spruce tank. But um, my son wanted to join me in here today while I was working, so he was doing his own craft. So um, I did not film while I was actually sewing today. Um, on that note, am I out of focus? There I go. On that note, um, I'm taking this week just to kind of familiarize myself with the patterns, uh, just to make sure that there's nothing that I need to do fit-wise to them. I have a couple more I want to try out. Um which is, let's see, the ruched tee. What else do I have in there? The ruched tee. I'm not so concerned about the jackets, although I do have the transformer jacket is um, cut out and sitting over there. Um, let's see, the ruched tee, though, the elevate crop and um, overlay, and then the Elian Mac um, good sports tank that I still, I think that's it, that I still want to try kind of test out. Um, so I'm going to work on those. I'm kind of going at this like in a module, which would be the third module um, that I'm working on right now. So that means I would need to cut into some of this color next. I think this needs to be the next athletic color that I cut into, the red. And I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I think I, I would have to go back and look at my um, plans. But I think I was going to do leggings out of this and then an Elevate crop top. And then do the Elevate overlay. I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And this. Which is the same as that cream I just used. It's just... Um, they look really good together. This is coming across more orange on camera, but they look really good together uh, in person. So I just, in fact, the, um, is it the tank? One of the items that I made in the creams actually goes with another module, but I wanted, since I was cutting out the cream, I wanted to try and get as much as I could out of it um, just while it was all laid out on the um, table. So, um, yeah, that's why I did that. And I hadn't planned on making the spruce tank, but that came to... Anyway, <laughs> we can get more into the modules. Um, and the transformer jacket's in a different module than what I'm working in right now, too. But um, I'd kind of like to do it module by module, as much as possible. That being said, you know, cutting out the same, you know, everything out of the same fabric, because then I can get as much as possible out of the fabric, because I'm laying multiple patterns out at once. Um, and really playing Tetris, um, doing jigsaw puzzling to try and get the most out of the fabrics as I can. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the idea. But yeah, I, I just, I think this week I'm just going to take to kind of go through a few more of the patterns, um, make sure there's nothing I really want to change, uh, that I really like it. And then next week, so you're seeing this on Wednesday. And so then through the course of the following week, I, I will, um, start doing some more, um, showing, let's see, I'll show, I'm going to introduce you guys to my machines. I've had a lot of questions on the, there we go, <laughs> the differences between a cover stitch and a uh, serger um, and why you might want those machines or not. Um, so I was going to kind of introduce you to that, introduce you a little bit more to my cover stitch and kind of show you what she can do. I tell you, doing the bindings, um, the self bindings today was like, wow, it was amazing. <laughs> Very much a fan of that. Um, 
so I was going to walk through that and then also walk you through um, next week on if you wanted to make something with a um, your sewing machine if you don't have a serger or a cover stitch machine and how you can do that on a sewing machine um, as well as maybe not next week but I'm also going to look at the elevate crop top and see if there's a way that we can put the sports bra into the elevate crop top so that it's got a bra built in but that may wait till the following week so yeah that's kind of what I've got planned for um, the vlogging part of the month and then we will um, yeah have my regular videos that go up so this is a little different than t-shirt week I'm gonna have probably less formal videos and all of the active wear sewing is going to be taking place in the daily vlogs okay I blabbed for a while now I'm gonna let you guys go and um, yeah we'll see what I get up to tomorrow if it's family day um, or if I do get a chance to come down here and do some sewing I will definitely take you guys along with me all right have a good one good morning everyone look what I just did I just dumped water right down my boo who else does that surely I'm not the only one okay so I'm wearing my new spruce tank um, from cashmere Art patterns I think I mentioned the other day um, it's Monday by the way it's Monday I did not film at all yesterday um, we just did things around the house and enjoyed my family um, so this is my first time wearing it I worked out a little bit this morning my husband and I are gonna go on a long walk after he gets off work so I'm just gonna keep it on but um, I said that I'm going to shave off a half of an inch off I think I'm gonna like that better but I'm also thinking I may shave off half of an inch there too for the crew neck version it just seems really high maybe a little too high um, and it's pretty high up in my armpit so I don't know I'm wearing it a little bit but you know it's got the let me rotate the scoop back I'm going to show you a full, I'll show you a full length in a second. I'm wearing my new sports bra. It does have the scoop back and I don't want it to get um, where I've taken off too much that I have a trouble keeping it up on my shoulders. But I don't know. I may just carve out, th you know, a half of an inch all the way around the arm's eye and maybe leave the back alone, but maybe just scoop out the front starting here and then just scoop it out a half of an inch for the crew neck version. Um... I think for the next one though, sorry about that, <laughs> the next one I'm going to make is the v-neck version. I may just really enjoy that one a lot better too. And these may be tight just to help keep that back since the back's got a scoop like in place. I don't know. I do really like this top though. Um, and I'll show you a full length. So I've got my leggings, my sports bra, and my top on. Um, I've got my other tank to show you. I can throw that on real quick and show you guys that. Uh, my dolman top though, the um, cashmere Cedar Dolman is in the washing machine. I had that on yesterday. Maybe it was Saturday. I think it was Saturday. Did, you, did I have it on on Saturday? Hmm. I can't remember if you guys have seen it on me yet or not. Um, but I did have it on with my other workout clothes and it got pretty gross. Um, so, But it fits fantastic. I really, really love it. So I'm definitely excited to show you guys, guys that one. But I will show you a full, let me do that now. I will show you a full length of this outfit real quick. And then I want to show you some... Um, um, things that have come for the channel um, that I, well, it, it's kind of funny. So let me show you this full on, and then I'll show you the Simplicity Tank on over the sports bra, and then I'll show you um, my new lights. Okay. Okay, sorry about the water again. So here is my new outfit. Let's move her out of the way. Um, my new outfit. I really love my new tank. Um, again, I may just make a couple of adjustments, mostly to the arm and a little bit to the neck on this one. Um, my pants are, you know, they've already done one decent walk today and then we'll go do another one. Um, but yeah, I just really love the, the detailing with the contrast fabric here on the sides. So yeah, so there's this one. This is the, um, cashmere cedar tank. I'll pop a picture up of that and then we go put on my simplicity pattern real quick all right here's the simplicity tank like I said it is very big through here but I think that's the way it's supposed to be I thought about doing a petite adjustment you know like taking it up a little bit and then adding that length back to the bottom because I do like the length of this um, but I think it's supposed to be like that because it's a workout tank you're supposed to be able to see your sports bra and stuff um, through it you know, and it's very loose, you know, if I'm going to be doing anything 
or need <laughs> a lot of arm movement. It's very comfortable. This one is very comfortable. I love all the ease, you know, just very flowy. Um, yeah, I mean, technically, probably the bust is supposed to be up here. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I could easily just take an inch out uh, at the back and the front just through here. It'd be a very easy adjustment to make and then just add that back on at the bottom um, to keep my length, but then to adjust everything. So I don't know. What do you all think? Let me know because I'm filming this on Monday. You'll see it on Wednesday. So I, I don't think I... I don't think I'll be making another one of these tanks before then. So I am going to make some more of these tanks, but I don't think I'll make another one of these before then. So yeah, let me know if I should do that. If I should just go ahead and take an inch out, we'll raise that just a little bit. Or if it's just fine as is. I don't know. I mean, I'm making my own clothes. Should I just go ahead and do it? Maybe. So anyway. <laughs> but I do, I am happy with this one. This one's going to, it's a, just a nice little throw over the top for walks and stuff, especially as it gets hotter outside. Um, yeah, I really like this one. Okay, now I'll show you my new lights. Okay, before I show you my new lights, I just want to preface this by saying, um, so Brittany Jones, Brittany J. Jones, her YouTube channel, she did a sewing room tour, um, I don't know, not that long ago, maybe a month or two months ago, um, and listed a whole bunch of the stuff that you saw in her sewing room. And I was very interested in her filming stuff and her lighting, of course. And she actually uses the same lights that I use, um, and I actually went ahead and ordered two more uh, just because I, I need two more. Um, I said that with the cutting table, and thank you for the coffee, because of all the coffees you guys have bought me, I've been able to purchase those. I think they'll be here on Thursday, so that is very exciting. Um, I don't know if they will be here in time for me to start filming the swimsuit sew along. So I don't know if you will see the benefits of that for the swimsuit sew along, but definitely for the for future sew along. So I'm starting that. I'm gonna. I need to start filming that tomorrow. But the other thing she had said. So um, she's a military spouse, and um, they did a military move. Oh, I don't know, a year and a half ago now, maybe. And when they moved, they would not. Um, I think she's army, but they would not pack up her um, light bulbs that go with her uh, lights, which is pretty typical. And um, so she had to buy new ones when she got to. Um, they're in the San Diego area. Anyway, so she said that she bought new ones and was so much, you know, pleasantly surprised because light bulbs do come with the lights that she and I both own, but she was so surprised at, you know, just buying new light bulbs, what a difference that made. And she kind of went on about it shortly after her move. So when she did her sewing room tour, I thought, well, I'll try um, those light bulbs because I broke one, I told you that story, and then I have one that was getting ready to go out. So I'm like, well, I'll just go ahead and order. They come in a four pack, and so then I'll have one for each of my new lights, um, or for each of my lights, my two new ones plus the ones that two I already had. And I was dying laughing when they arrived. I wanna just show you the difference in size between <laughs> the old bulb and the new bulb. I'm not gonna turn them on because the big bulb will literally blow the camera out. Like I can't even, it's like staring at the sun, which will be fine once I have the umbrella on them, you know, that, um, that diffuses the light. I think it's going to be, it's going to be so good, but let me just show you real quick. Look at that monster. Okay. Now let's look at the size differential. So this is my new one right here. And this is the old one. <laughs> Can you see the difference? And those are like right next to each other. Like this isn't like this one's close up. This one's far away. Nope. They are literally right next to each other. There is no depth perception issues there. Look, it's like four times bigger than that one. It's hilarious. But anyway. It's a night and day difference when I turn that thing on. I, I mean, it really is going to light things up, um, I think, really well. So you will see that in the um, swimsuit sew along, uh, the difference in the light bulbs. And I think there is going to be a big difference. So I'm really excited to see what that looks like on uh, video once that comes around. Um, then I have the other three sitting here. Um, I was just waiting. I'll just wait and put those in when the other two lights um, show up. But yeah, that one had me chuckling big time. But thank you again for all of the channel support over on my coffee account because 
that is what is allowed um, a lot of this to happen. And I got two new batteries for my my camera, so I have three now, so I should be able to film the whole so long in one fell swoop and not have to stop because of battery issues. Um, which was, I mean, that was stupid that I waited as long as I did for a new battery. Um, so anyway, thank you all so, so much for the support of the channel. Um, it is, yeah, hopefully we're going to make a lot of uh, uh, good changes here. Also, um, the video that went up Sunday, the feedback. For, so when I do screen recordings, like when I was showing you the websites and stuff like that, um, anytime I'm on my computer, I'm screen recording that. So it's using the computer's microphone um, to hear my voice when I'm talking. I think that background noise, that white noise, um, is the fan from the computer uh, that keeps it cool down. You know, all computers have fans. So I think what the uh, fix for that is to get an external mic. So one that isn't recording all ambient noise. It would just be recording my voice. Because um, I could either, you know, plug it into the camera and have it on me. Um, so it would just be picking up, you know, like my voice. I think that that is the fix for that. So, um, and I don't think external mics are that expensive. And I've got ports in both my camera, um, which I think might be kind of nice even for just the regular filming. Um, I don't know. I feel like my sound quality is fine. But obviously when I'm not using my camera's um, sound quality, that maybe I do need an external mic for that. So I'm going to look into that. That's going to be my next research thing to figure out what I need to purchase uh, for sound. But... Um, yeah, that's kind of what I got going on right now. So went to the grocery store today. I can't remember if I told you all or not. Um, I'm being put on a new eating plan. Story of my life. <laughs> when I saw my doctor last week. And um, basically my, I I just, nat, just my genetic makeup, I have um, high sugar levels. So uh, diabetes actually does run in my family. Um, type 2 actually. And not... Um, you know, a lot of times type 2 can be, you know, uh, tied back to lifestyle choices and um, that kind of thing. But this is like a genetic, like type 2, like it just runs in the family. Um, my grandma's got it and I have a couple of people on her side of the family that have it. Um, anyway, <laughs> long story short, I do have elevated blood sugar. Um, and I have like forever. So it's something that we're always keeping our eye on. And of course, I've got other food allergies that have all been you know, taken out of my diet. But I think in the COVID-ness, um I was, I've just been eating too much sugar. So, um, and I do have a sweet tooth. So anyway, taking sugar out of the diet. So that, uh, today is the first day um, that I've started that. And you know, so far so good. <laughs> I can still have my coffee. And it also means natural sugar for a little bit until I get all of my levels like back to normal. Because um, in the past I have put raw honey actually in my coffee, which is a fine sugar to have. Um, I just need to get my levels back to normal and then I can add the, you know, natural non-processed sugars uh, back in. So anyway, today's been the first day of that. Uh, so far, so good. I'm not having any withdrawals or anything. Um, I was able to have my coffee this morning. I put a little bit of um, uh, stevia, just a little bit of stevia in there. So um, just a little bit, <laughs> which my doctor said was fine to do. Um, so yeah, I, so far, so good. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, my doctor said probably going to see some weight loss too, which would be nice. I don't need to lose a lot of weight, but I I have put on a little bit of weight, especially since COVID. Um, so I would like to be able to uh, comfortably fit into all the clothes that I've recently made. Um, I noticed one of my Rhapsody blouses that I made for the um, re-release, it's the short sleeved green um, rayon one, is just ever so slightly a little tight in the back, just a little bit. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get things, you know, my levels re- uh, back to normal so that I can, yeah, definitely want to be able to wear all those clothes that I've made. That would be awful. Um, so anyway, that is the story for today. So I did a big grocery run and, um, you know, stocked up on some just healthier options. Um, you know, just always a, a game of balance, right? Moderation. So, uh, yeah, had grocery store today and, um, it's been beautiful weather outside. My husband and I did a, let's see, I had it nine miles of walking yesterday. <laughs> which is crazy. We did a really long walk. Um, we did a really long walk yesterday. Not all, it wasn't a nine mile walk, but it was, it was a really long walk. I don't know, maybe like five or six. Um, 
which was lovely because the high yesterday was like in the low 70s. There was a cool breeze that's beautiful, like a blue sky, hardly any clouds in the sky. Um, it was very pretty. So um, we are going to go, we did a little walk, a short walk um, on his lunch break, and then we're going to do a longer one when he gets off work. So that is my plan for today. But while I'm waiting, he's on a call right now. So while I have, I don't know, about an hour, hour and a half maybe, until he gets off that call, I thought I would do some cutting out. So um, I do have a pattern test that I'm going to be working on this week. Um, but I probably, I may do that on... I have tomorrow's video filmed. I do need to edit that. I'll do that this evening, edit and upload that. But um, I will need to do some filming at some point this week for Friday's video. I don't even know what that's going to be yet. But um, I do have a pattern test that I need to work on, which obviously I can't show you guys. But other than that, it's just going to be more active wear sewing. Um, I want to get through a couple more patterns. I think I may cut out a Ellie and Mac Ruched tee today. And I also want to cut out their Good Sports Tank. Um, and I'm still working, this module was all part of, actually this wasn't part even in my plans. Oh my God, look, that just looks awful. <laughs> this wasn't even in my plans, I just had extra fabric. Um, so it's taking the place of one of the tops for module three. But I want to do, um, I'd had a ruched tank in my module three paint plans. And I think, I think it was one of the simplicity tanks. Is that right? Yes, that I made. So that cream simplicity tank was one of the ones that was in module three as well. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and make two. I think I can get two tops pretty easily out of the rest colored um, poly, merino poly. So I'm going to take you guys over there and I'm going to um, cut out, I think, a ruched t-shirt, maybe a short sleeve one, and then a um, good sports tank, both from Ellie and Mac. Um, I have had questions about um, doing slower like so you can see how I'm cutting things out I can definitely do that in fact for the sew along for the swimsuit sew along I haven't started filming that yet I will I think maybe tomorrow um, but I do plan I will show you from above with my um, stand my st my gifted stand show you um, how I cut out uh, that fabric because it is I mean it's the same as athletic it's a swimwear fabric but it's the same as you know any of these athletic wear fabrics very similar so yeah I will do that so you can kind of see a little bit closer up on how I do that um, so yeah I did have that question also fold over elastic what give me some sources <laughs> for some fun fold over elastic someone was saying that they had a shirt that had Fold over elastic that finished off the neckline. It, was a, it wasn't it was a workout shirt, just a regular shirt. And I can't remember if they said it was like velvet on one side or satin on one side. Something like an interesting fold over elastic. So, um, or even just like a lot of colors. Like what are your favorite sources for fold over elastic? Leave it down in the comments below. I would love to put together a list of some favorites, um, especially as we're doing athletic wear sewing, because that is a fantastic finish on so many things. In fact, the Simplicity um, tank that I did, I did self-binding finishes on that, but doing that, doing fold over elastic on that would be so much better and so much quicker. Um, and then you're not dealing with, you know, sometimes when you stretch those binding strips, self-fabric binding strips, they get super skinny, and then you have a hard time getting them all folded over and stuff, um, whereas the elastic obviously stays uniform really well. Um, and now that I figured out how to sew it, <laughs> and I will be doing that, I'll be doing more in depth of me at my machines next week. But um, anyway, leave the sources for fold over elastic down below. Also, I had a question that someone asked about um, printing... Uh, the copy shop files in Canada. If you guys have, um, any of you Canadians have a really good online source for printing off your copy shop files, will you leave that down below too? Um, I would love to be able to share that information or even wherever you are in the world, if you're in the UK, Australia, whatever. If you have a really good online source where anyone, you know, in your country can very easily um, send their files, have them um, printed and then mailed, let me know. Uh, someone did say, uh, I believe she's here in the U.S., that she does have a local copy shop that does architectural printing. And that's, I guess, the question you need to ask the copy shop. If they do large format architectural printing, because then they can print the copy shop files. Um, and one gal said her local place, she just emails the files to them and they have them printed off, you know, in a couple of hours. And then she can just go pick them up and it's very reasonable. Um, as well, you know, like a dollar, similar to the prices I'm paying at, P, at PDF plotting, just without the shipping. 
Um, and then, you know, same day gratification. So that's something you can also look out for in your local area if you have some local printing places. Okay, I've blabbed on for a really long time now. So uh, let's go cut out a couple of tops. Okay, so I got both the Ellie and Mac Rouge Tee. I did the, the Rouge Tee comes in a relaxed fit, a fitted fit, and a, oh, what's the other one? It's like three different fits. Slim, that's it. Relaxed, fitted, and slim fit. Um, and then you've got four different sleeve options. So you've got a short sleeve, a three quarter, a long sleeved, or you can do a long sleeved with a cuff that's got the little um, thumb things in it to bring it down over your hands. And then of course you do the ruched back. And I've also seen people do the ruching in the front. So um, I think that's right. And then, um, yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> you can do the ruching in the front or the back. Um, I'm gonna do it in the back. I really like the way that that looks. And then, um, I wonder if I should have cut, hmm, yeah, I need to think about what I want to use for the ties on that rouge tee. Anyway, I did mine the relaxed fit with a short sleeve because I want to see how that fits. And you can do cropped length. You can do a cropped length or, um, you know, a regular length t-shirt. I did regular length because when it ruches, you know, I'm thinking it'll bring it up to like high hip. You know, my leggings are all pretty high waisted, so I don't want any midriff showing, but It'd be cute, I think, to have a little bit of my back showing between my sports bra and the back of the um, pants, um, if that's ruched stepping up. So I got the ruched tee, the short sleeve, relaxed one, regular length, um, and the good sports tank cut out of the um, um, rust colored merino poly. And I think we should be good. Now I am going to have to figure out something to use for the tie, because I can't use self fabric because I'm completely out for the ruched tee. And I think that the good sports tank, you use fold over elastic to finish off the back part of it. It comes with two, that one comes with two options. Well, it has a hood you can put on it and it's got a um, kangaroo pocket you can put on the front. Um, it's got a higher neck or a lower neck. And um, I'm gonna do the higher neck. And then you've got two back options. So it's a peekaboo back which where it wraps. So you've just got kind of a cutout so you can kind of see just the center back of your sports bra. And then it has an open back, which I think might be just where you can like tie it maybe. I'm not really sure. I need to look at the pattern again, but I just did the regular peekaboo back, um, which is the one that I've seen that I really, I really like, but there may be more options there too. So on that one, let's see on the ruche tee, there is um, a lengthened and shortened line and it recommends it's drafted for a five, four person. So for a shorter person really. Um, but it says if you're shorter or taller than that to increase by half inch increments. So if, for instance, if you're five, five, you should only increase it by half an inch, not a full inch. Um, there's science behind that. <laughs> um, so I'm five, two. So I lengthened or shortened it by an inch um, instead, not two inches, just one inch. And then on the um, good sports tank. There is no length and in short in line, but I went ahead. I kind of held it up to myself and it is supposed to be a loose tank where it kind of comes down, shows your bra and that stuff, but it was pretty low. So I went ahead and did a petite adjustment of one inch um, up here, um, both in the front and in the back to help raise that up. And then I left the length of it alone. So that would, I'm, that'll be like me taking up the inch that it's um, drafted for, for a longer person. So, um, I've done that. Again, I was able to get that all cut out of that meter and a half of that poly. And I have just a little bit of a scrap left that I just put, I have a pile of my like somewhat larger scraps. So if I get to the point where I want to use a few things, you know, I don't know, a color block or something, <laughs> I've got, I've got what I have left over there. I don't have any of the, um, light colored poly merino left. I used all of that. 
Um, that's the problem. Some of those wrap tops use up quite a bit of fabric because it, you know, obviously wraps. So I have those cut out, but I do want to go ahead, I think, and cut out that swimsuit knit that matches that kind of, I think it's called amber red, um, to get the leggings cut out. And I need to look and see what other tops I was going to cut out, probably a sports bra. And if I want to do like another spruce tank, maybe in a V-neck this time, or if I want to do that elevate crop top and try that out of the red. Um, I do at some point want to play around with maybe uh, putting a bra inside that Elevate crop top to see if I can make that work, um, but I want to make it first before I try and um, hack it. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll, and I'm thinking I'll do a capri length pant on the red just for something different, and that'll be cooler in the summer too. So then that'll leave me a little bit extra fabric to play around with. So I think I should probably pretty easily be able to get the leggings, a sports bra, and that Elevate crop top out of it. And then I, I can play around with it and figure out if I can put a bra into that for the next iteration. Because I think I had that planned for the chocolate brown too. So, <laughs> that being said, I want to get those cut out here soon because then I can switch all my machines over to that color thread and do all that color. Um, it'll just go much quicker. But I first need to finish that jacket that I cut out, which is the Ellie and Mac Transformer jacket, um, because I've got white set up on all of my machines. So um, that's the next thing I want to sew. So I'll probably wait and cut out the rest of the um, rust, the amber red um, swimsuit knit here in a little bit. I just hate having too many things cut out. It stresses me out. <laughs> I get overwhelmed. So um, I'm trying to think. I need to do the swimsuit this week. I need to do, I want to do that jacket. That's the next active wear thing I want to do is that jacket. Um, and while I have that color out, I also have part of the skirt that I cut out. So maybe I could cut the rest of that out and get that sewn up too. Um, and then I've got a pattern test that I need to sew. So the swimsuit and the pattern test both really need to be done this week. Um, well, they have to be done this week. <laughs> and then the rest of the, um, we'll get back to the active wear sewing. So we'll see where tomorrow puts us. I need to go on Wednesday. I have a little bit of a road trip I need to make. I need to go pick up that um, Singer sewing machine that I inherited. It's not a it's not a featherweight. It's something else, but it's an old one. <laughs> that old Singer. My guy got it working. It was completely locked up, and he got it completely working again. He said just like new. Got all of the cords all ex you know um, refurbished, and said it's it's sewing beautifully now. So I need to go pick that up, and that's about a 45 minute drive from where I live um, on Wednesday, and I have a doctor's appointment on Wednesday. So um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. If I'm going to film for Friday or wait and do that on Thursday. So many questions. I may wait and film on Thursday because I, that's a hair washing day. <laughs> and then I'll be fresh to do some filming for Friday's video and I can film the intros for the swimsuit. Okay, that's a lot of me like thinking out loud and trying to figure out. So anyway, long story short, I may come down here tonight and uh, work a little bit on this jacket um, just to get it started. Uh, I don't think it's gonna take me that long. I need to recut out the bottom bands and the cuffs because I've decided to go with navy instead of rust. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely take you guys along if I do. I'm also afraid this weekly vlog is gonna be super, super long, and it might be, so. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I, it's just still the easiest way for me to do things, I think. So anyway, I do have editing to do tonight, so I don't know if I'll get any sewing done tonight or not. But I will see you tomorrow regardless, and we can go from there. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys have a good evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Um, so this is the last day of the vlogging week. I still haven't done any editing on this. <laughs> I get a very long night ahead of me. Um, but... Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I should probably do that as I go moving forward, but it's just been kind of a crazy week. So um, anyway, today I have um, probably not a lot of filming today. I am going to do a little bit of sewing on that Ellie and Mac Transformer jacket that I had cut out a while ago. Um, but then the rest of the day, I do have to take my daughter to get her hair cut today, um, which is why I actually have makeup on. And I'm wearing my um, B6543 wrap dress. This is the linen one, the one I had to make because I lost footage. Um, I love this so much. Um, yeah, I love this dress. I love both of them so much. It may be my new favorite, like, woven wrap dress pattern. Um, anyway, 
<laughs> um, but that's why I'm actually done up because I do have to actually go to the salon with my daughter um, to get her haircut today. But I think the rest of my sewing today is probably going to be, I have a um, an itch to stitch pattern test I'm working on. So I need to work on that today and then also um, start filming the sew along uh, for the swimsuit, the um, Butterick swimsuit, which someone said you can totally buy on um, the Oliver and S website, which is Liesl & Co, um, Lisette, it's the same designer for all of those, which totally makes sense. I knew that she sold her Butterick patterns on her site as well. Um, but it's, yeah, so she still has those. So I will um, put a link, I guess, to her site to go buy those. I mean, you can still get them off Etsy and eBay, um, that pattern, but you can buy them from her site right now. So I will put a link to that down below um, instead of the Etsy link that I have been using. Um, but yeah, so that's a lot of sewing that I can't show you now. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my plan for today. So I probably won't do any other than my jacket. I want to get that jacket done just because all of my machines are threaded with white right now. So I want to go ahead and get those all sewn up so that I can um, switch over my thread for... Although my swimsuit will be, I'll be using white on that anyway. So that's helpful. Um, yeah, and I haven't picked fabric for the pattern test yet. But if I go with something light, then I could stick with the white on that as well. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I, yeah, no other active wear sewing um, or probably cutting out until I get all of that done. So that is kind of the plan for today. Um, yeah, I mean, I will definitely set you up while I'm working on this transformer jacket. Um, it's got, you know, it's the jacket that goes from a jacket into a backpack. So I'm probably gonna have to follow the instructions fairly closely because it's kind of putting together a puzzle a little bit on this one. Um, so yeah, that is, uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I'll get you all set up and uh, yeah, we'll do some sewing uh, before I have to eat some lunch and then go take her to get her haircut. Alrighty. Okay guys, I finished my transformer jacket and this took like no time at all. Okay, so here it is as a jacket. I've only switched this back and forth about 18 times, showing my family members. I'm very proud of this. <laughs> now, I would not wear it with my wrap dress because it does not hit at a flattering length. So here it is as a jacket. It's got a hood. It's got a zipper. I'm glad I went with the navy. So I've got, um, this is not knit, even though the pattern's drafted for knit. Um, but obviously I've got knit at the cuffs and it's just a rayon scrap that I had um, at the edge of the kangaroo pockets and then also at the um, hem band, the waist. But here it is. Okay, so cute. Um, what else can I show you about it? It also has hidden pockets all right here. It's got one there and one on the other side as well. And then when you are ready, you're hot on your hike and your kids are tired of carrying their water bottles or whatever. <laughs> then got a cute little string backpack. Now, my husband did ask me, is there room to put anything else in there? And yes, there totally is. Um, there is a pocket right there that's really only useful when it's in backpack mode that you can easily put a phone and stuff in. And this fabric is so um, lightweight, I could very easily scrunch. You know, a lot of this is just air. I could scrunch and put stuff in there. I mean, you wouldn't want to carry anything super, super heavy because um, it's just a cloth, you know, string bag. But look at that. And I had this wonderful um, cording that I bought for a different project and never got used that I actually really like with the fabric. So there we go. That's my Ellie and Mac Transformer jacket. Um, okay, I'll turn around and talk to you just for a second. Okay, um, so that's really all I've gotten done today. <laughs> I have not done any of the sew along or any of the pattern test. Um, Mostly because I, mean, I was on the, I was just doing other stuff. Like other stuff kept coming up. I took my daughter to get her hair cut, uh, and then I was just in the groove on this and wanted to finish it, finish it up. But it really didn't take me very long at all. Maybe four hours to sew up. So there it is. So cute. 
I'm so excited about that. That's going to go so great in my activewear module. So that is the jacket for module one um, of my activewear plan. So that's very exciting. So now I will put activewear aside for a little bit and I will um, film the sew along and also work on the pattern test. And I'm going to work on that um, tomorrow and Thursday. Um, I also need to do, and probably Friday too, but I also need to film Friday's video on Thursday. I'm still not sure what that's going to be yet. Um, I have a list of things that I can choose from. So <laughs> we'll come up with something for Friday, um, but I do need to get that filmed on Thursday as well. So that is all I've been up to today. I mean, it's only 3.40, 3.45 right now, but I'm going to call it because I've got a ton of editing to do to get this up for tomorrow. So um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed my week and um, I will see you guys, well, tomorrow, but again, next week for the weekly vlog. All right, I hope you guys are having a good one. Bye.